Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well again and welcome again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comments. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And you already know, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. I will be happy to make a video for you too. Same as the over 100 videos I made on Shopify customization. And you already know, most of them, they were from subscribers and some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that just a like button will help me out that's all I'm asking but actually if you are interested in Shopify customization and you want to be an expert subscribe to the channel I don't have anything to sell and never will I don't sell any courses I don't have any memberships I don't sell the codes the codes I do provide I do share it completely free so it's a win-win situation. All the content I do create, I do post it completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some ads and that's the case for all the videos on YouTube, right? So as I said, it's a win-win situation. But a like is enough. That's all I'm asking. And here I am again, back with another requested video because actually one, I know he's a subscriber. I actually know he's a subscriber because I did post a video on how to resize the add to cart and buy now button only on the mobile. He did comment, well, please, you did show him how to, how to do that for the mobile. Show me how to do that for the desktop only. No worries, in this video, I will show you how to resize the buy now button and add to cart button on the desktop only on Shopify. On the mobile, they will be like taking the full page, which is the, the regular buttons, how they look like. But on the desktop, they will be on any size you want. You can customize them however you want and the changes will only apply on the desktop and without any more talking let's just get to it as you can see by the way this is the shopify dashboard and i have here down team which is the one i use for demonstration i have 15 version which is the last version as if now the time of making this video but if i scroll down here i have every other free team the most used ones i mean including taste sense refresh spotlight and trade and if you are wondering why is that because as i said the trick in demonstration i do it in video on down team but behind the scenes i do it on each one of these i tried it on each one of the, these teams so i'd make sure that it works for them as well i don't do it in the videos i don't bore people out and that's not good but i promise i did try them on each one of these and it works just fine for them i just want to mention that first i give you that peace of mind so you would know i would not waste your time in this video and even if it didn't work for you just drop me a comment below i would be happy to help you out and again for the second time let's just quit talking and let's just get to it and show you how to resize the buy now and add to cart button on the desktop only so let me show you the shopify store i do demonstration on which is this one and everything you see on this shopify store i did it in the videos including the search bar right here, uh, instead of search icon, moving uh, scroll or scrolling or marquee effect <laughs> announcement bar with the link. If I click on it, boom, it will take me to a specific section or a custom link, even a page if you want. And if you notice, header is not transparent anymore because it's only transparent when you scroll up and you scroll down, it's not transparent. And you can set any color to this header when you scroll down. All of this, I did it completely free on my channel. You can find the videos. Just scroll down, uh, check out the channel, and you'll find all the videos to do all of this, including this add uh, back to the top button so you can go back or the WhatsApp button in here. But what I'm talking about in this video is this one's right here. Add to cart and buy now button. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. And if you are wondering, the rounded corners on the pictures, yes, I did them in a tutorial. Check out my channel again for the million time. <laughs> I'm just joking. If you are interested, of course. So as I said, we'll keep this open, do the trick, come back and show you that it works only for the desktop. Get back to Shopify dashboard. The first thing you're going to do is, as always, click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. Then this will take you to the code editor. In here, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the files, use the search bar and type in team. And you will find team.liquid right here. This file exists on every Shopify team, the free ones I mean. Click on it and you will see a bunch of code in here. But at first in here, you will see it says head as you can see. And after that, you will see a bunch of code in here. We need to find again a specific section on this code. Instead of looking at the code, you might get blind. <laughs> I'm joking. Simply use the keyboard on your keyboard. And if you are Windows, click on Control F. I'm on Mac. 
click on command F if you are in Mac 2, then you will see the search bar right here and type in forward slash head, then hit enter and it will highlight the code for us on the call. The code for us on the call, yeah. Uh, then let me close this. So between this uh, forward slash head and script, we need to create some space because we're gonna paste in some code in here. So click front of script, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go, we are in completely new line, right? Because as I said, we need to paste in some code in here. And in order to get the code, you need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, get back to you the code, then try it. No need, no need, I'm joking. Scroll again to the description box and you will see a link named this code. Click on it, then it will take you to this page right here. Or you're gonna see this beautiful code that will do the trick for us. Then the next thing, select the whole code, right click, copy, get back to the a space that we did create then simply paste it in here and if you see let me get back to the black screen so you can see better so you don't get blind again <laughs> I got too much jokes today I apologize so you can see it says max width is 50% 50% is half right so I'm gonna keep it as 50% and let me get, get you let me get let me let you get the idea let you get the idea Keep a click on save button, get back in here, reload the page. You can see it's 50% now, as you can see. If you want it bigger, then simply do 70%. Just like this. Click on save button and reload the page. And it's a little bit bigger now, it's 70%. But if I, if I uh, uh, click on inspect, then I need to switch to, the de to mobile, sorry. If I switch to the mobile, scroll down, it's taking full width. As you can see, it's 100%. But if I close this to get back to desktop, as you can see, it's only 70%. And that's how you resize the Add to Cart and Buy Now button only on the desktop for your Shopify store. And as I said, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. <music>